MYOB setup, getting to know your accounts list. Now, accounts list or chart of accounts, we've covered when we set up our company file. But now we have an opportunity to customize it much more. And there's a couple ways that we can get to the accounts list. The first is that we click on the accounts command center button and notice that our menu choices down here change to reflect the accounts command center. And then we click accounts list. And when I do, there it is. We're in the accounts list area. I'm going to close out of that and I'll show you the other way, the menu bar way of doing it. Simply click lists and just like how we went to tax codes, we're now going to go to accounts. If I click on that, we're in the accounts list area. So now you know how to get here, let's take a bit of a tour and get to know this screen. First of all, if you want to view all the accounts, you click All Accounts. The scroll bar here enables you to scroll all the way through assets, liabilities, equity, income, expenses, cost of sales, etc. Or you can simply go to just the asset information, liability, equity, income. Okay, so that's normally one. Liabilities is two, equities three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, there's a seven in there. Probably good that you notice this. Seven is excluded because they used to use the seven, the number seven for a different category which is no longer in the system. I'm not sure what it is. All I know is that rather than reprogram the software it was much easier to simply keep this as eight and nine. So they're the different sections. Let's take a look now at the asset accounts list. Notice there are different levels. It's like a hierarchy. This is what they call a level 1 heading. This is level 2, level 3 and all of these are level 4. Also notice that each of these headings or accounts can be categorized into a particular type. Bank generally means that there are transactions used for this type of account. Accounts receivable other asset etc. You can see in the accounts list whether an account is linked and whether you can delete it or not and you can see a tax code for it. Let me just show you something. When I click check account notice that the up button is now available. If I click it I've made that option and all the ones underneath it level 3 accounts. If I click down I now have to go and change every single one of these down to a level 4. And I'll try and do it quickly so that you don't have to wait for me. So you can do that with most of these accounts. You can change the hierarchy. Let's take a look at the information about accounts. These three even though they're different levels, are all bold. If I click on the little white arrow, you'll notice it is a header account. If I click Details, notice that when we're reporting, we're going to generate a subtotal for this section. Current Assets, same, header account. Are we going to report the subtotals for this? Yes, we are. Now let's take a look at what's commonly called a detailed account. This one here called check account. If I click on the little white arrow, notice that it is a 
detail account. And if I go to details, you'll see that it's linked to undeposited funds, customer receipts, paying bills and payroll check account. In other words, you'll have a great deal of difficulty trying to delete this account because it's used in four different areas of the accounting file. So, a bit of an introduction on getting your way around the accounts list area.